Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 50 of the Billy Rickman Show podcast. I am so super excited to do this episode for you guys today because uh, number one, I am um, like... It's not, the most, it's not the most important thing, but it's uh, one of the reasons why, is because I'm actually really, really proud of myself. Um, so when I started my podcast, I think it was February, and I honestly just like, um, I think in the first episode, I talk about it, how I was on, I was thinking about doing these podcasts, and I was like, I'm going to start a podcast, and uh, so I started researching it, and it was just so overly complicated to start a podcast, like I can't even begin to tell you how <laughs> hard it was. And I, I figure like I'm pretty tech savvy. I'm like, I'm, I'm okay. Like, um, so for example, <laughs> my brother-in-law, he's a, he's a carpenter and he owns his own business, um, doing uh, shower screens and stuff now, right? Installing shower screens. Um, that that's his company that he owns. And, um, and so, but they're also building a house. So he's a real tradey, 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 like, you know, building and carpentry and all that sort of stuff and plumbing and, and everything. And, uh, and even so on the weekend, like he, um, this, I'm totally sidetracking on this, but he, um, I was talking to him about, he, they're just building a house, him and my sister are building a house at the moment. And uh, he asked someone to come around and help him. And I was like, oh, why don't you ask me to come around and help you? And he goes, oh, because I don't need anything done with the internet and stuff yet. And so um, I think that's a reflection on where he sees my skill set. Um, but, so in saying that, I think I'm pretty tech savvy. Like I can look at a computer, I can look at something online or some new software and figure it out. But with podcasting, like I really found it, like challenging, it just wasn't easy to do. And Android don't really have a, um, like they've just kind of released one on Google, but it's not really good. Um, so getting it on Android was really hard. So it turns out you had to, it turns out you had to like upload and store your podcast on a site and then you had to somehow integrate that and share it. And then uh, it was just a nightmare. Anyway, I, um, I was one day, one afternoon, I was just sitting here waiting for a coaching call, I think, and I was just flicking on my Facebook and Gary V came up. Um, for those of you, most of you know Gary V, it's Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, he came up and he was saying like, oh my God, I'm such an advocate for podcasting and people struggle to get on, on board with podcasting and, and they don't understand the power of it. Um, but there's this new software, it's called Anchor and it's so easy for people now to create a podcast. So if you're not podcasting, you should. And uh, it was literally like this one minute spiel and I was like, wow, that's super interesting. And so I downloaded the Anchor app and um, and sure enough, it was like really super easy to do. Like. It, the hard bit of it is not starting the podcast. The hard bit of it is actually then getting into like a format. And so a lot of my format is about storytelling and then I have an intro and you know, some catchy music and with some with some over overlays with audio. Um, and so structuring that and getting that right was probably one of the hardest bits. And then of course the, the biggest the, or the hardest thing is building an audience, right? And getting getting people to actually follow you. And so um, I, I started this, this Anchor podcast and um, it was actually like, probably one of the best things I did. But when I first started it, it was so off the cuff. That afternoon, I think I did my first episode. As soon as I like saw that Gary Vee thing, I was like, I'm just gonna do it. And I did my first episode then. And um, and I, and honestly, like the first couple of days, I was like, what am I gonna talk about? What, what am I gonna talk about? And I just had this thing in my mind. Um, one of the guys I follow, his name is Russell Brunson online. He always says, just like, just find your voice. You've just gotta find your voice. And whether or not it's it sucks at the start, and whether or not um, like it's a good message or it's good content or it's well received or it's not well received, it really doesn't matter. As long as it's not offensive, like offensive, like I'm not a big one for offense. Like I think people are offended way too easily these days, but um, like I mean offensive, like really vulgar. As long as it's not that and it's not explicit, um, then just keep producing content and find your voice. And the strangest thing happened, like as soon as I started telling my stories, as soon as I started doing this sort of stuff, like immediately I was getting followers. And one of the best things ever that, um, that you will feel if you ever start to do anything like this is um, when you start to get messages from people overseas. And, uh, and that is so, it's so cool. Like, so I was getting all these messages from these people. I even got one like yesterday from a guy in Kenya. And he's like, oh, Billy, I'm not even gonna impersonate his voice because I'll do it really badly. And, and that probably will offend somebody. But he's like, oh, Billy, I just want to let you know my name is such and such and I live in Kenya and I've been following your podcast now for a couple of months and I just wanted to let you know that I love it and it's a great message. And even though, you know, you talk about things that are not necessarily in my industry, I think the message is great. And so that is the nicest feeling when you just feel like I'm reaching out to people, engaging people all around the world who I don't even know. Um, like that is a really, really awesome feeling. And so when you get those and when you when you get things like that and you get messages coming into your inbox and you see your numbers climbing and people following you, it's just kind of like people are people are valuing the content I'm providing and, and it encourages you to want to do more of it. So the more I did, the more I um, I wanted to do, but then you get to a point, it's like, 
oh crap, like I've, I've now set a standard. I've now got an expectation of my, my audience has now has an expectation of what I'm going to deliver. It's like, oh, now I've got to meet that expectation all the time. What if I now do a crap one? Will they all leave? And, um, and I think we all go through these vulnerability stages where we have a little bit of self doubt and, and whatnot. And so, um, I, uh, yeah, those things are, have been tricky to navigate in the first 50 episodes, but I feel like I'm kind of in a flow now. I, I, I like even now, um, I had a meeting this afternoon uh, about, uh, the, the news will come out soon, but I had a meeting this afternoon. My inner circle know what it is, but because I shared it with them just about 10 minutes ago. I had a meeting this afternoon with someone who's helping me to, um, who's going to become part of my coaching um, team. And she's going to be one of the coaches who's going to be, um, have her own coaching program inside um, Billy Rickman Coaching. And, um, and so I don't even know where I was going with that actually. But <laughs> I'm sure it'll come to me in a second. But anyway, it, it's totally rewarding with podcasting. And, um, and so it's encouraged me to... Oh, what was my point? I don't know. Anyway, it will come to me, I'm sure. So over the 50 episodes, I've learned a lot. And, um, and it's been awesome to share this journey with you guys. Um, and the other awesome thing is that um, people have really, really been so um, receptive of what I've had to offer. It really makes me want to do more. And so some of the lessons I have learned in the last 50 episodes of the messages I've been getting and the engagement and, and, and talking to different people about their challenges in business and, and, and finding out what messages have worked really, really well and what messages have not worked overly well. Um, what I've found is that uh, the biggest, the ones that get the biggest engagement are messages of hope. And I just kind of want to go silent on that a second. And I'll say it again and just kind of pause because it's really, really important. Like the, the podcasts I've done over the last 50 episodes, the ones that have got the most engagement are the ones that are based on hope. And what I mean by that is that the podcast where I talk about there is an alternative and there is a solution and things can get better and you do have more inside you than you think you do and you are better than you are, and people see you in a better light than what you see yourself, and um, you are more capable than you even know. You have achieved more than you give yourself credit for. Those kind of messages are the ones that get the biggest response and the biggest engagement, and I genuinely believe that is th that is the case because people actually subconsciously believe it themselves. They just outwardly refuse to believe it. And so their subconscious and their mind and their inner person and their, or their inner child or their, their inner being says, yes, you can do this. Yes, you can achieve it. And that little voice is actually the thing that keeps you going all the time. Those moments where you're in business where you doubt yourself and you think you can't go on, but you do and you keep pushing forward. That's actually that tiny little voice inside your mind saying, you can do this. The problem is you've also got a louder voice inside your mind going, you're rubbish, you can't do it, you're terrible, you're not as good as other people, you, you look how bad you're going your business isn't performing, all your customers are going to leave you. Like that same doubt that I had about my own podcast, that one I've just spoken about before, and about how um, like now there's an expectation or now like what if all my podcast subscribers leave? Like people see that, in, I see that in people's businesses all the time. And um, and, and be, because of that, like they, they actually limit their action that they take in their business and they have this self-doubt. So they don't take that action. They don't take that step. They don't want to learn something else because what if they fail at it? They don't want to try that new marketing strategy because what if it doesn't work? They don't want to do a Facebook Live because what if people laugh at me? And so that loud voice overtakes the inner voice, but the inner voice is still there. And I think when I speak my messages about hope, um, what that actually does is brings forth that little, that silent voice or that, that, that quiet voice inside you and it brings it forward. And, and that moment in where you're listening to a podcast where you're in your own thoughts and it's just you just listening to words and me talking and I give you guys hope and I tell you that there is a better strategy and there is a way forward and there is a, a, a different way of doing things that can get you better results. I think you get motivated by that and I think you get excited by that because it's like, yes, I can do it, I can do it. I knew I could do it and I can do it. And... Um, and I think that's why I get the most messages to those and that's why I get the best engagement and that because it is so well received. So I guess um, there was a lot of things I wanted to talk about today in episode 50, but I really wanted this to be an empowering message about the lessons I've learned from you um, over the past 50 episodes. Um, and there's some episodes where I was like, oh, that didn't really go down well. And in fact, I need to do a shout out today because I promised her I would and she told me not to, but it, because she told me not to is the reason I'm going to do it. Um, so Yasmin, 
if you're listening to this podcast, Yasmin's one of my uh, my coaching clients. She's in part of my inner circle, and she said to me this morning during one of the calls, she's like, um, "So what was with uh, episode forty eight? You were a bit angry." I was like, "What angry?" And it was it was one about fear and how fear is the primary um, primary thing that causes us not to to get off the tools and and um, and be a business owner and and run the business from a uh, working on the business perspective. And I was like, angry? I wasn't angry. And she was like, oh, it sounded angry. Usually I finish a podcast and I'm like super pumped. But that one, I was like, hmm, I don't know if I agree with that one. <laughs> so we had this joke about it today. And uh, so if I was angry, like, I'm not going to apologize for it. Like, you know, it's, uh, I said this to her. I said, um, some things we just won't agree on. And that's okay because that's what causes conversation and that's what causes growth. It's like me having an opinion, you having an opinion, other people having an opinion, listening to everybody's opinion and and taking little bits from that and and, um, and learning and growing and seeing what works for you and what doesn't. And so we had this joke about it today. So I, I wanted to do an uplifting message today just in case a few people thought I was being angry in that episode. Not that I was, I didn't think I was, but uh, apparently maybe I was. And so um, I hope today is a, has been a, a good podcast for you guys to listen to because I really wanted to give you this message of hope and hope that if you're struggling right now, um, it's going to be better and hope that exactly what I said before, you're way better than you think you are. Um, more people respect you than you think do. Um, you can achieve your goals and just, it doesn't matter how far behind the eight ball you are right now, you can get ahead of the eight ball. Um, there's people I know who have thought that everything was dark, there's no way out and not only have they found a way out, um, they have now realized their goals and their dreams. And um, I don't know what my point was that I was gonna say before, but the person who is going to be now um, becoming part of my coaching program, uh, one of her dreams was to build her business and then be able to become a coach herself. And uh, in, a, in only a few short months, we've, we've managed to do that. And uh, she's now realizing her dreams. And so I really want to encourage you guys to sit down, realize again what you have achieved so far, give yourself a pat on the back like I am for my 50 episodes, and, um, and just congratulate yourself on everything you've done. You took the risk to be in business. You took the risk to put yourself out there to get clients, to hire staff, to try and be better than you were yesterday. And that is one of the most like valuable things that a person can have. And that is something that is inspiring to others. And that is something that you should be proud of yourself no matter what. So for the next 50 episodes, I'm going to keep giving you messages of hope. I'm going to keep giving you things that allow you to feel better about yourself and to recognize your efforts and give you also some strategies to help you get from point A to point B and to continue to be awesome, because that's always my message. And that's how I sign off my emails, be awesome, because uh, you guys are awesome, and thank you so much for your support. I'm awesome, I am awesome. <laughs> I am seriously grateful for everything you guys have done to support me, and keep your messages and your comments and your feedbacks coming. And a big shout out, if you haven't subscribed yet on YouTube, go to YouTube, do Billy Rickman Official, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers in 30 days. Um, and I can't do it without your support. So go to YouTube, search Billy Rickman and subscribe if you're listening on the podcast on iTunes or Google Play. Hit the subscribe on there as well and then go to YouTube, YouTube and subscribe there. If you're watching on YouTube, press the subscribe button now and uh, then go to your iTunes or Android podcast. Or search for the Billy Rickman podcast, um, Billy Rickman Show podcast and subscribe on there as well. Because the reason I do 50 episodes, the reason I've done 50 episodes is because... Um, of the continuous feedback I get from you. And that's what helps me to, to know what you guys love and what I should do more of. So keep giving it to me and make sure you subscribe to my channels. Thanks again, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this message today. Love you all. And I'll see you for the next 50 episodes. See ya. Bye-bye.